Anne is asking, have you, have either of you been able to talk to any atheists from indigenous communities around the world? Like Inuit, Sami, First Nations, etc. Um, not on any no. stream or publicly, but I have like in our own community, like on our discord mm. and stuff. Um, so if you're interested in talking to people from that background, like I would suggest joining our, uh, discord or, um, our Facebook groups where there are a lot of people from different backgrounds. Um, and especially like on our largest Facebook group, you could just like pose the question to the group, like, Hey, is there anyone from this background? Like, I'm very interested. I have questions. Um, but yeah, they're definitely a minority and not hear, heard from very much. Um, probably not helped by the fact that there are people on the left in America who genuinely believe that if you have criticism towards, uh, indigenous religion in any way, then you're just a straight up racist. Um, I, 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 I you go on. I remember watching an episode of the atheist experience where some woman comes in to talk about indigenous religion or she calls in and Matt Dillahunty starts going through his normal, like, you know, questioning, like, um, like street epist um, epist uh, ep ep <laughs> why can't I talk today? <laughs> Epistemology um, stuff, you know, like, well, how would we establish this claim? Blah, blah, blah. And she starts to get really reactive. And by the end of the call, she just calls him a racist and hangs up. Because he's like, what proof do we have that there is a great raven or whatever? So that kind of attitude doesn't help the situation at all. Um, what were you going to say, Aaron? I just said, I was just going to say, I remember watching a video by some indigenous person making fun of um, making their culture more, it was very spiritual. Like he was like making, I don't, you know, it was a comedian, like, you know, native American, you know, guy, I think it was on TikTok. I don't know. I, I should go find those videos. They were so funny. Like, you know how a lot of people make their singing, their traditions uh, seem very, you know, spiritual and special in some ways. And he was like making fun of that. And it was just so good. I haven't seen anybody make fun of that. And I was like, actually kind of like shocked because that's like the most holiest thing in Canada, <laughs> right? Like I've like people get in trouble in Canada for making fun of that more than you know any other thing like Islam or you know LGBT. You know those things are kind of taboo in Canada, but going after you know indigenous cultures and tradition that is like I was like damn like I have been Canadianized if I. Like because when you're like, I'm gonna of, fight. <laughs> I'm like, I, why am I being triggered by the, these jokes? Are very funny. Why am I being triggered? Like, I was like, oh my god! In, 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 if somebody in my university saw this, it would be so triggered. Like, you could get fired. And like, like, so, I, so I was, it's interesting that yeah. You know, anyway, so I was I was happy by the way to see that because that's a, that it, to me coming from a Canadian you know Canadian culture that seemed to be the untouchable. Uh, you know, practices, so certain ideas. That, yeah. So watching it seemed like an ex felt like this is the ex Muslims of the native community. Somebody from them just making fun of their own practices. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Right. Like why there's the sensitivity. I think mo like most of the time the sensitivity is warranted. Um, given the fact that they are a plethora of peoples who have been the subject of cultural genocide for hundreds of years uh so like i yeah. get it it's not like it's completely unwarranted but of course there is some barrier to criticism yeah like, but but it, it's always that what happens is people take that defense of a community all of it uh, to the point where they're spiritualizing and celebrating everything even things that are not worthy of celebrations or like over um hyping them to the to bring, putting it on a pedestal and making it seem like this is something so holy that you can't even make fun of, right? So it takes, when you take the defense of something that needs defending to that level, then somebody needs to come in and adjust it and take it down a notch, I think, right? Yeah. And we could say the same thing about the Dave Chappelle show, by the way, when it comes to the whole trans. Oh, right? 
Gonna like, get yourself in some hot water. When you, when you take the defense of something to the point where that you find that offensive, right? Yeah. You, you know that you have over like if you say if you tell people that you have over adjusted, it doesn't mean that those group of people don't need and defending and shouldn't be defended. Yeah. Yes, they do need defending. They knew they are being oppressed. They do need help. But your what you're doing is not actually help. You're you're you being offended over, you know, every single thing or like simple jokes. That is not the help that they need. But yeah, go ahead. Oh no. Uh yeah, I agree. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. 